Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch scale Scarf Stormtrooper Squad Leader. This second wave of 6 inch Rogue One figures has been impossible to find but luckily seems like they're starting to trickle out now. I haven't seen this figure at retail. I looked out and got it on Amazon after trying and trying and trying. Finally I got lucky but unfortunately Hasbro wasn't too or Amazon rather, was not too kind about packaging it very securely at all. They, they just put it in a bubble mailer and sent it to me like that, which they've done that before. It's been a long time, but they, they did that before once and something similar happened. Uh, I mean, not a huge deal, I guess, because I'm going to open it, but I do keep these boxes. So I'm a little bummed out. In any case, the packaging is the same Black Series look that you are already familiar with. Side of the box gives you a peek inside at the profile of the figure. Opposite side indicates that this is number 28 in the 6 inch Black Series. And the back gives us some information on the Scarf Stormtrooper squad leader. Specialist Stormtroopers stationed at the top secret Imperial military headquarters on Scarif, Shore Troopers patrol the beaches and bunkers of the planetary facility. So it does seem like Shore Troopers and Scarf Troopers are one and the same. Uh, up here at the top, little peek inside, and then here is the bottom. So okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spend a little bit of time, get this unboxed. When we come back, we'll take a closer look, see what it's like, and we'll compare him to the regular Scarf Stormtrooper. All right, you guys, now here is the Scarf Stormtrooper squad leader out of the packaging. And as you can see, it's a fantastic looking figure. Recently, we reviewed the Scarf Stormtrooper, just the regular grunt trooper, and I was totally blown away by it. If you watch that review, you know that I think it's one of the best figures in the Black Series 6 inch line. Hasbro is great with troopers these days, and this right here is essentially the same figure, just different colors, different markings. It's the squad leader, so he's got to have something to differentiate himself from the regular troopers. And the figure does look fantastic. It's got a very nice sculpt to him. Same thing as we saw before, but with a few differences. You get the Kama, AKA the skirt, which is different. The other version didn't have that. This one does. He has a different belt that's connected to him, but it looks just as good. It really is a very impressive looking aesthetic. Looking at our helmet here, the figure looks marvelous. It looks fantastic. Very lovely sculpt and it's just decorated very nicely. I love how it's this beige color. It's not like white. Like when you think of a stormtrooper, you think white. This is beige and, and it looks really, really good. I love the weathering detail on there. I like the visor. Looks a little bit like the scout troopers from Return of the Jedi, but it also kind of looks like the Imperial Death Troopers that are also in Rogue One. And I just think that it looks really good. At the back, you can see a little bit of uh, paint on there. It's got these little black markings on either side and the rest of the body looks really great. And it's also that tan sort of color, but you also get those really nicely applied blue, red, and yellow markings. And I like how it's not just a clean figure. It looks like it's something that has been in battle. You know, it, it, he's seen his time on the front lines and, uh, you know, he's a squad leader. So, you know, he's got to look a little grittied up and he does. And I really like the, the shade of blue they use there. It's kind of like a sky blue. The red right here on his right bicep looks great. Some uh, little yellow squares there, like on the other trooper. There's also a little yellow uh, square right there. I'm not quite sure what that means, but it looks good. On the left side, he's got a little white band right there, like we also saw on the other trooper. And um, you get some black here inside uh, you know the armor there so it looks really really good again that wear and tear that they applied to him just looks really nice and you know very gritty very realistic and another thing i mentioned about being different other than paint is the fact that he's got this belt that's attached to this camera piece the other figure did not have that and again we'll, we'll compare them in just a little bit but this one looks really good as well uh, the belt looks nice and I really like how this has a leather looking quality to it or vinyl looking quality because it's got some seams on it and the way that it drapes just looks really good. It's very stiff plastic but it is pliable and the pants look quite good. Um, like with the other trooper I think they're a little bit on the glossy side. They still look nice. The color's nice. It's a dark brown and down here these shin guards look superb and I really like the the wear and tear that they have on them too. They're sculpted beautifully but that wear and tear and wash that they apply just makes it look very realistic. Boots are also a dark brown color, peg holes on the bottom. 
Now, in terms of articulation, you do get your ball joint here at the neck, and it moves around quite well. You can turn it side to side, a little bit of a head tilt to it. You have ball hinging up with these shoulders. Now, do take note, they are a little bit hindered uh, because of the armor, so that is going to be a factor. You have ball hinging at both of the elbows. They move quite nicely. Bends and swivels at both of the wrists. This one moves forward and back, and then the other one moves up and down. That's nice. You get a ball hinge here at the torso. Not a whole lot of movement from it, but it does work. Ball hinging at both of the hips, though. Like with the other trooper, uh, they are a little bit hindered. It's not just because of the camera. Uh, it's actually also because they're just kind of limited in movement. You get cuts here at both of the biceps. It's got double bends at the knees, and they are quite stiff on this figure. They are quite stiff and hard to move. Uh, down here at the ankles, he's got uh, the usual ball hinging, but also the rocker swivels, so that's very nicely done. For weapons, we get this blaster rifle, which is different from the one that the regular Scarf Trooper comes with. And it looks quite nice. I mean, it does look like an Imperial blaster, but there is a little bit of a difference to it. Uh, it's longer, it looks a little more high tech. And I really like how they gave it that silvery paint that has a gradient going into the front of the gun. And then that little red bit right there. It's just a really nice looking rifle. And he holds the blaster rifle very very nicely. Here's a comparison of the squad leader along with a regular Scarf Stormtrooper. They look great together. Uh, I feel like the regular trooper maybe looks a little bit darker, ever so slightly, but they look very nice one to the other. I do have two of these regular Scarf Stormtroopers, so probably on my shelf what I'll do is I'll have another one of these guys uh, on the other side flanking the squad leader, and hopefully at some point Hasbro will release the captain version of these guys as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars, the Black Series. Six-inch scale, Scarf Stormtrooper, Squad Leader, as seen in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Overall, you guys, this is one of Hasbro's finest examples of what a six-inch Black Series figure truly should be. It's a work of art. It's an accomplishment. And I give them credit for doing this because a lot of the time, Black Series figures just aren't quite what they need to be. This figure is... And Hasbro really should know that this is what we want from the Black Series. We want highly detailed figures with realistic proportions, with realistic paint apps that just look superb. They really knocked this one out of the park. I'm totally happy with it. I do think that the aesthetic, although it's fantastic, kind of does hinder the articulation. It's very well integrated, but as a result, you don't get the maximum amount of movement from the shoulders or the hips. I'm personally okay with that given how nice the trooper looks, and I know that I'll still be able to get him into a wide variety of poses. But it is one of those trade-offs that we sometimes see when you have a purely amazing aesthetic. And in this case, like I said, I'm fine with it. This is a heck of a figure, and if you're a fan of the 6-inch Black series or collecting the Rogue One, a Star Wars story figures, then you really need to add this to your collection. You really, really, really do. And then be sure and get yourself a couple of regular Scarf Stormtroopers to flank him with, because it's just a really great figure, and I really hope we get the Captain before too long. All right, my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If so, do give us a like, do subscribe, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, I want to thank you for tuning in to Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.